everyone, I am Teacher Mate. Welcome to ITV, Instructional Teaching Videos in ICT. Join us and together we will explore and discover the world of technology. Happy learning! Good day learners, I am Mama Tet and welcome to Empowerment Technology class. Today, I am going to discuss about online platforms for ICT content development. And at the end of this lesson, you are expected to evaluate existing online platforms and applications and developing ICT content in specific professional track. And before we formally start the lesson, I will show you some of the logos of most commonly used online platforms and together, let's all guess what they are. The first and the second pictures are very familiar with everyone. And that is correct, it's YouTube and Facebook. Any guess on the third one? That's right, it's Google Slide. How about the fourth one? Correct, it's called WordPress, which is usually used for blogging. Next. Right, it's Prezi. And how about the last one? That's correct. It's called Wix. So let's go ahead and discuss first what do we mean by online platforms. So these are technologies that are grouped to be used as base upon which other application processes or technologies are developed. It is also the infrastructure by which multiple applications are developed upon. So what are the examples of online platforms? First, we have presentation or visualization tools. Second one is cloud computing. Third is social media. Fourth, web page creation. File management for the fifth example. We also have blogging tools, survey forms, and last one is music production. And as we all know, online platforms support many of our daily activities that we have become dependent on them in our personal or professional lives. So we rely on to them. We cannot deny that fact. To buy and sell goods, services, to find information online, and to keep in touch with each other. There are a lot of different types of platforms right given the examples and applications as well but for now we will focus on those that will allow us to share our content to the rest of the world so let's go ahead and discuss first the first platform which is presentation or visualization tools so it's specifically designed to allow users to create a presentation of ideas by stringing together texts, images, and audio or video. Examples are Prezi, Zoho, MindMester, SlideShare, and Google Slides. Those are the examples. And one of the most common platform for presentation is what we call the MS PowerPoint or Microsoft PowerPoint. It is a powerful presentation software developed by Microsoft and this program uses slides to convey information rich in multimedia and is, and is used to create complex business presentations, simple educational outlines, and much more. Next is Google Slides. Google Slides allow users to create and edit presentations online while collaborating with other users.
examples of blogging. software so with so many web pages nowadays are you not curious of how hard it is to create one do you think that you can also make a web page on your own back in the day you actually have to learn HTML and CSS to be able to create a decent website today even those who doesn't know how to do it or doesn't have the knowledge on programming and coding can create a website within the use of the online WYSI WYG platform and content management system. So what is WYSI WYG? It is the acronym for what you see is what you get. These platforms do not require coding skills. It is a system where editing software allows content to be edited in a form that resembles its appearance when printed or displayed as a finished product, such as printed document, web page, or slide presentation. Another one is the CMS, or short for Content Management System. It is a computer application, sometimes online or browse-based, that allows you to publish, edit and manipulate, organize, and delete web content. CMS is used in blogs, news websites, and shopping. So to recap everything, please answer the following questions. What is a platform? Can anyone give the definition of what platform is? Thank you. So for the second question, what online platforms and applications for content development do you already know? Give at least five examples. And the last question, what is the advantage of online WYSI WYG platforms and content management system? To evaluate what you have learned, please answer the following questions. This is an interactive computer mediated technologies that facilitate the creation or sharing of information, ideas, career interests, and other form of expression via virtual communities and network. And the answer is, that is correct, it's social media platform. Next question. It is a combination of technologies used as a base upon which other applications, processes, or technologies are developed. And that is platform. Next, it is a broadcast style communication systems that enable authors to publish articles, opinions or product reviews known as posts which can be delivered through standalone websites email feed syndication systems and social networks that is correct it's blogging platforms the fourth one it is the delivery of different services through the internet these resources include tools and applications like data storage, servers, 
databases, networking, and software. That's correct, it's cloud computing. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have learned something and see you on the next lesson.